Today I am reviewing the Cooler Master Spawn. This mouse is very small. From front to back it's a bit smaller than the Abyssus, but from side to side it's a bit wider. The mouse uses real rubber grips and is very easy to hold. It has seven programmable buttons with DPI adjustments on the top near the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel clicks are deep and very defined. The left and right mouse buttons require very little pressure to push down. The sensor position is off-centered and to the back. Like the Pure Track Valor, the sensor looks like it's sideways. But unlike the Pure Trek Valor, this mouse seems to track much better. Though it doesn't seem to do it innately, you actually have to configure the mouse to get optimal tracking rates. For example, instead of using 1800 DPI at 1000 Hz, to get the best max tracking rate, you've got to use 1800 DPI at 125 pulling rate. In fact, to get max tracking rate on all DPIs, you must use 125 pulling rate. Which can be more than just a little bit annoying. These are the drivers. In here you can assign all your keys, add macros, you can disable and enable prediction, and you can also toggle between the different hertz, which 125, 250, 500, and 1000, and you can toggle between the different DPIs, which are 800, 1800, and 3500. That's really it for this mouse. To me it's actually a pretty decent mouse as long as you're using it at about 125 hertz, or maybe even 250 hertz. But anywhere above that, you're kind of cutting yourself off on the max tracking speeds. But as for small mice, this would have to be in my top three. There are two more things I wanted to mention. First, at 800 DPI, there are some tracking issues. Second, they released several different firmwares. There's 30A, 31, and 32. Uh, 30A is what I used for this review, as I found it tracked the best on that. But you can lower your liftoff distance with 31 and 32, but it might not track on all surfaces. As always, I'll put a list of specs, including the weight.